Hello, hello, Facebook. We're excited to come at you live tonight from Montana. My name's Elise Leininger, and this is my husband, Rob Leininger. And we wanted to visit with you all about Thrive Fit. But first, I think it's important to share a little bit of our background and a little bit of our story so that you know where we're coming from. So, honey, why don't you start by telling them about when we started thriving and were you very excited about it or were you very skeptical? <laughs> um, no, I was not very excited about it. I was, in fact, very skeptical. Yeah. Um, which is a good thing because skepticism <laughs> helps you to keep money in your pocket and potentially bad and harmful stuff out of your diet. Um, so. There's a lot of junk on the market, and that was why I was skeptical. I'd built skepticism over years of uh, trying stuff and not having it work for me. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, no, I wasn't super psyched about it. Ugh. Well, <clears throat> it was kind of a bummer. Um, when I started my Thrive Experience, honestly, you all, I had tried so many different things on the market <laughs> that when I was introduced to this through Facebook, I didn't tell him. No. Nope. <laughs> the reason I didn't tell him was, number one, embarrassed. Number two, thought I might be wasting my money again. Who can relate to these things? You all drop a comment. Number three, um, I thought if this really does work, he will be able to tell a difference in how I behave each day. So honey, what did you observe that week that you came home from the medical conference? And that was week two PS of my Thrive Experience. The main thing that I observed was you had more energy, um, just about your day and about your persona in general. Yeah. Um, you were getting more stuff done around the house. You just kind of seemed like you were more engaged and uh, more contributory. So basically um, I was pretty blah mm -hmm. before. Well, <laughs> yeah, I mean... I was, we were, let's just be honest. We were in the middle of a tough winter. Right. Um, and Very winters nice in Montana spot. can be yeah. sort of hard if you don't have a uh, winter hobby. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was talking to him under my breath. Um, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of people who are feeling just the exact same way you were. Right. Um, you know, we were in our mid to late 30s, I guess, at that point, late 30s. Um, we were subsisting on coffee. Mm. Um, we had little kids, and we, you know, maybe didn't get as much sleep as we could have. Yeah. Um, but we had a really healthy diet. We've always eaten organic and um, not overeaten. We've never been overweight. Um, but really, I mean, we went through, you know, a couple of weeks where we were getting used to the Thrive products and starting to feel better and notice that they were working. Yeah. And we got rid of literally an entire pantry full of garbage supplements that had never done a thing for us. Uh, an entire pantry full, <clears throat> which you were consistent with taking and I was inconsistent because let's be honest, who can remember to take, I think I took 12 different capsules on the previous nutrition <clears throat> program that I had bought, 12 per day. You yeah, all? and if, if they don't work for you, if you don't feel them you know, affecting yeah. your body, then who's going to remember to take them? No, who is? So you all, thank you for hopping on. We have 250 live viewers currently. Go ahead and click the share button. Rob's going to share with you all from his background in medicine, being a physician assistant in orthopedics with a focus in sports nutrition, as well as um, just being a sports and health enthusiast himself. I like working out. He does. Um, and, and really researching ingredients to be at your best. So I'm really curious myself to hear about what Thrive Fit will do for people. But before we launch into that, you all, drop a comment if you're with us live. We want to say hey and shout you out. Click the share button and type shared when you do so. And then here's the thing. Every single person that does type shared will be entered into a drawing for a tripod, which is my signature um, giveaway when I do live videos. I love giving away a tripod because we all build a home-based business. This is available to any of you who are sharing this video. I don't care if you're in our network or not. There's no strings attached. I just like to give big and give back. So thanks for tuning in tonight. So I think with that, we're ready to rock and roll. Um, but I do want you all to drop comments as um, what you hear resonates with you um, because that way the people that you share this with will see that this video is very exciting and they'll be like, oh, I got to see what was, what was being talked about. 
talked about there because we'll get so many of <clears throat> you all tuning in and sharing. And um, hey, Dara. Hi, well, good to see you. Um, so good to see you all. Thanks for tuning in. Click that like button, share button, whatever it is that you do when you watch a live video Just to interact. Start clicking buttons. <laughs> Rob's like, click away. Okay, honey, so tell us, Thrive Fit. When they first started talking about this, um, I think it was in New Orleans that we first heard about it mm -hmm. in May, right? May. Um, yeah. What did you think? What, what were your hopes for this product? Um, honestly, the first thing I thought was it's about time. Really? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I felt like, you know, first of all, there were some things potentially missing from the uh, Thrive lineup that could really um, elevate the company and elevate the products that they have. Mm -hmm. And uh, I didn't know what the um, Thrive Fit components were going to be, what the products would be. Um, but I did know that Lavelle would do them right. Right. So that's the, you know, that's the biggest thing for me is, um, if I'm taking something, if I'm recommending it to friends, family, I want to know that it's really high quality. Mm -hmm. Um, as all the Thrive products have been, they've all exceeded my expectations. They've all worked for me. I use pretty much everything in the, the catalog. Yeah. And can um, I just throw this quickly in, um, you all? So when... We moved back to Bozeman after living in an Airstream for a year, traveling, our second year in business. Um, I met Will Caton of Swiss Fit in Bozeman. I got to throw this in because he is so healthy and very fitness fanatic, and he was very um, no about <laughs> experiencing Thrive for so long. <clears throat> and now, after we've been working out there for how long? Two and a half, three years. Two and a half years. Two and a half years. Um, now he and his fiance have gotten on board with it and they are raving about our products and the quality of them and especially move and form. They just love them mm. because they're both building their own chalet up in the mountains, you all by hand themselves. <laughs> Timber frame, right? heavy duty work, hard labor. So it's kind of a testament to it because I think they were a little bit just watching, waiting, seeing. I mean, how many skeptics do you all know? There's a lot of people, they need to sit back and watch and see if you quit taking the product. They mm -hmm. want to sit back and watch and see if it does actually create a happier, healthier you. And I think that Rob and I being consistent working out, um, finally, <laughs> finally I say, I know Will and Karen are going to be watching this. Um, <laughs> they are on board. Yay. So, back to you. <laughs> back to me. <laughs> Why did I even say that? I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, so... You know, the Thrive Fit products, really, it is <laughs> something that uh, was, I think, missing from the Thrive lineup that uh, the gap has been filled. Yeah. Um, these guys love to fill gaps. This is one that was, you know, just such an opportunity for them to come into the product space. Um, there's a lot of junk on the market, as we know, just junk supplements in general. Um, but, you know, yeah. the uh, fitness world is just made up of all kinds of sometimes scary products, things that make all kinds of crazy claims. Mm -hmm. Um, and there is definitely a lot of room for growth for a, a company who does things right and really sources good quality ingredients. And, uh, you know, to be perfectly frank, um, the things that are in the Thrive Fit lineup are all things that I've been doing and taking for years now. Um, really? Yep. What? So Stop it. I'm are really, you serious? You just told me that. Yeah. Wow. So, uh, I'm really glad to see that, again, they are doing it because I know that they're going to, um, you know, make the best wow. possible product. I'm still in a shock. And I can't wait to see what kinds of um, breakthroughs people have in their fitness. Um, a lot of this stuff has, I mean, it's mainstream to me because this is what I do. I study this stuff day in, day out. Mm -hmm. I listen to podcasts on nutrition and sports medicine. Um, you know, I'm sort of a self-experimenter still. But a lot of this stuff is um, really clinically backed, but it's still sort of fringe. It's not necessarily mainstream. Um, some of them are, and we'll talk about the ingredients that are in the products um, briefly. But, uh, you know, this is more just to give you guys an overview of the products, why we're excited, um, what they can potentially do for you and your customers, your friends, your family, everybody else. So, um, you know, as we all know in the uh, Thrive Sorry. Lifestyle Mix, <laughs> there are um, three different kinds of protein in the protein mix. There's pea protein, whey protein, and soy protein. So um, pea protein um, has a really good profile for absorption, so that's why it's included. Um, you can really, it's really bioavailable. You can um, assimilate a lot of the majority, overwhelming majority of what you eat. Um, whey protein 
there are different forms of it, and we're going to talk about the form that's in um, Thrive Fit. But whey protein is a really good source of protein. It's been used for as long as I can think back to when I was a high schooler reading books on bodybuilding and, hmm. and stuff. Um, but it's, it's been used for decades and decades. It has a great uh, safety profile. It works well. Um, and soy, you know, soy has been really... Um, looked down upon. There were some studies way back that uh, said that it could um, cause estrogenization, feminization, could increase your risk of breast cancer. But interestingly, as I was, um, I mean, it's, it's actually been disputed for a long time and it's been refuted. Um, it's, it's been shown that that's not the case. And interestingly, when I was doing some research for uh, this particular live, um, I, I did some comparison with some other countries, so looking specifically in Asia at c countries like China and Japan, and um, the molecule or the factor in question, the ingredient in question in soy is isoflavones, and they've actually been shown to have a um, cardioprotective effect, so they're actually good for your cardiovascular system, for your heart and your blood vessels, um, but there was concern that they were the, the cause for things like uh, breast cancer and, and all this, but um, Americans eat about one to two grams of isoflavones a day, whereas in Asian countries, they eat close to uh, 100 grams. And hmm. Asian countries, wow. guess what? They have an incidence of breast cancer that's about five times less than that of Western countries. But we're not talking about cancer. Right? No, we're not. I mean, I'm just, I'm not saying there's causation, <laughs> but it's just an interesting thought. Like A different study, totally separate from yeah, Thrive. This is all basically, Staying compliant. It's, it's all been disproven. <laughs> and so a lot of the um, things that people have issue with um, right. turn out really not to be an issue at all. Right. Um, and so that's one of the reasons that I really like yeah. the company is they've gone through all this due diligence and done all this scientific background. Um, but you're not going to have to worry about soy at all in the Thrive Fit products because what they're using instead is whey protein isolate. Mm -hmm. And what that means is they've isolated the protein from whey. Whey is basically the um, milky or sort of uh, yellowish fluid that is on top of your yogurt. So mm. it's a protein. Oh. So they skim that off when they're making cheese and yogurt and such, and they turn it into a protein source. They can powderize it. Wow. Um, and there are different forms of whey protein. There's concentrate, um, mm -hmm. which is really good. It's concentrated uh, whey protein. Mm -hmm. um, but the very best is isolate, and isolate has about a 95-ish percent absorption rate. So it's the highest out of all the different ah. forms of whey protein. So essentially you're saying <clears throat> when you consume X amount, you will process or absorb 95% of that. Yep. Whereas comparatively to other protein sources, well, what lesser, lesser quality protein sources, um, it can be very, very low. It can be 30 to 50%. Wow. You may have 20 milligrams of, or 20 grams, excuse me, of protein mm -hmm. in a serving, but you only can absorb you know, maybe 10 grams of that. Wow. Um, so with the uh, whey protein isolate, it's, it's going to be much improved. Can I um, take some of that picture? No. Um, in addition to the whey protein isolate, so the other thing about that, I guess, before I move on is, um, it's a really fast metabolized protein source. So it's great for if you are going to be, uh, you know, working out right away, you can use it as a pre-workout. Mm -hmm. Um, and we're, right now we're talking about build. Sorry, okay. I should have mentioned that, the Thrive, Thrive build. 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 Um, so it'd be a, a great pre-workout, uh, supplement to use, um, and it's a fast burning protein, so you, you drink a whey protein shake and it's mm -hmm. basically already getting work in your system within about 20 minutes or so. So um, it's a great pre-workout. Now there um, is also casein or casein, depends on how you pronounce it, protein. And it's a different form of milk protein. Um, basically it's a very long uh, acting, and the way it works basically is your body doesn't metabolize it as quickly, so it's around for longer, it breaks down more slowly. Um, and so it's a great one. It's long been used in uh, sort of the fitness and nutrition world for people who uh, will um, say have a casein protein shake before bed because it'll keep them full all night. It uh, burns really slowly, um, but it's great for working out too because you you have this quicker energy source which is providing um, fuel for your muscles in the way, and then the casein helps to can provide this continued burn so that you have all these raw ingredients. Um, it's interesting to note that uh, in both these cases, the lactose is basically washed out of the uh, protein during the processing. So people who have 
issues with lactose intolerance, just like with mm -hmm. the Thrive Shake Mix, the Lifestyle Mix, they should be able to take this without any issues. Awesome. Um, heart, 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 you all. Yep, exactly. <laughs> and uh, one good thing about the protein and why it's included in just about, I mean, you see whey protein all over the place. You see it in energy bars now. You see it in tubs at Walmart. I mean, all these places have... Um, you know, come to love whey protein because it sells, because it, it, it works. I mean, there's a ton of research behind it. It's very safe. And uh, basically what's been shown to do is as you're working out, you know, we know what happens is you're breaking your muscles down. Um, so it provides protein to help both um, build your muscles back up during and after a workout, but also to uh, essentially um, replace that which you, your body would need. You You have all these metabolic processes going on. There's your body's signaling and calling for protein and you're putting it in your system uh, exogenously, meaning you're drinking a protein shake. Um, and so you're not having to break down your muscles to the extent that you would be if you did not have that same protein shake. Um, Let me turn off the comments. Oh, they're not bugging me. Oh, okay. Um, so anyway, that's, uh, you know, protein has, is probably the most um, well-researched and popular nutritional supplement for people who exercise in the world. Um, and it's because it works. And what about people who have a need to put on weight? For Not necessarily people who work out, but mm -hmm. like someone who is underweight who needs to gain. Could well, protein a is a, yeah, it's a great way to um, help to build muscle mass, potentially lean mass. So that's the thing about protein. Um, if you look at, say, just straight carbohydrates, um, you know, glucose, sugars, things like that, they cause an insulin spike. Insulin is basically a fat storage hormone. Right. And that we can use that to our advantage. We're actually going to talk about that in a minute. But um, if, if you're I just... Quiet. That was good. That was a, that was a good uh, prompt. Um, if, you're, if you're just interested in really um, the recovery aspect, building your body, building lean mass, you know, lean mass builds more calories than any other type of um, tissue on our body. So the more muscle you have, the more calories you burn. And that's even at rest. So you tend to burn more calories at rest. So people who have more muscle tend to be thinner, meaning they have less fat um, because the, the muscle is more metabolically active. Mm. And, meaning uh, burning more calories. Yeah. And so, I mean, a great analogy is, you know, look at um, wild animals, look at a lion, look mm -hmm. at, you know, big cats, look at sprinters. You know, these are people who eat a lot of protein. They have a lot of lean mass and their bodies are very, very lean. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, uh, let me see my notes real quick. Oh, oh yeah, so uh, there's also um, branched chain amino acids. So there are different types of amino acids that we need. Some of them are essential, meaning that um, we have to take them in in our diet. Um, they're not um, made by our bodies, so we have to. It's essential that we eat them. Um, there's another subset called the branch chain amino acids, and that's what um, is going to be in the uh, build. Um, leucine, isoleucine, and valine are the three uh, branch chain amino acids. Um, there's a ton of studies, ton of information about them and what they can do. Um, but basically, um, the biggest things, if, if um, people take them before exercise, they help to both um, promote lean muscle mass, they uh, will decrease the amount of catabolism or breakdown of your muscles, and they help provide extra energy uh, for working out. Yeah, who do you know that would benefit from these products, you guys? Tag them. And click me. the share button to them. <laughs> I know, right? It's going to help me too, isn't it? Um, so with that segue, okay. we will move into how about recover? Yeah. Um, so recover. The interesting thing about it is there's been some there's been sort of a shift in uh, a lot of the post workout recovery world over the last couple of years only. It's pretty recent stuff, um, but it's all again backed by science. There's a lot of good information, and so it's it falls on what we were talking about mm -hmm. about uh, carbohydrates. Yeah. So. Um, Carbohydrates in general, if you overeat them, it leads to all kinds of different problems, um, including weight gain and insulin problems and you name it. But you can sort of game the system, so to speak, and you can take them at opportune times and you can uh, use the spike in insulin that you get from eating sugars, carbohydrates, to benefit you. And one of those times is post-workout. So um, you've all probably heard the uh, theory that you, know, you have this window um, and it's described as anywhere between... 30 minutes and uh, two hours post-workout where you have this um, hormonal window, this metabolic window where you can really um, recover from your workout the best by eating certain foods. Well, it used to be all about uh, protein. You know, people who were working out, were lifting weights, they would take protein. People who were um, 
say, you know, back when I was doing triathlons and adventure races, it was all about eating carbohydrates. Well, what they found is actually the best way you can refuel after a workout is to take, to take a combination of the two. So you have the protein, which is going to provide your body with the raw uh, nutrients, the raw ingredients to um, recover, repair, rebuild muscles and build new muscle. Mm -hmm. um, but you also have this um, carbohydrate element, which is going to uh, give a release of insulin and that's going to shut all those proteins into oh, your cells. Interesting. So it's, it's basically, it's a, it's a great way to be able to not only take those um, essential proteins that you have, but to also to give them sort of a back door into uh -huh. the cell so that they're more functional and they're they're better able to do their job at repair and recovery. Interesting, because I feel like so many people are, are scared of carbs, right, you all? Who has the fear of having too many carbs? I know that's an issue. And and sometimes um, there's fads, right? But talk a little bit about carbs, simple sugars, sugary drinks, sugary processed foods. Well, this, this is... I found, I'm a, this is his big passion, so this might not be a quick segue, yeah. but... <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a nutrition dork. He is. He's um, like an encyclopedia. But I found this really interesting. Yesterday, I was going up in the mountains, and I heard this um, thing on NPR. And they were talking about, I think it was the Chicago Zoo, where they are no longer going to feed pandas and monkeys and a bunch of the rest of the vegetarian um, population, okay. so to speak. They're not going to feed them fruit anymore. And that is because in zoos, he's talking in, about. in zoos, yeah. <laughs> that is because the um, the fruits that we have nowadays have been so genetically engineered mm -hmm. that uh, basically they're they're manipulated to be bigger and to have more sugar. And uh, another thing they're manip manipulated not to have is seeds, mm -hmm. so they're not a fertile no fruit a lot of the time. Right. So when a um, when a tree or a plant that's growing fruit doesn't have to put that energy into seed development and reproduction, mm. it puts more of its energy into uh, sugar storage, essentially. And so, you know, these modern fruits have become so sugar rich that they were feeding them to their primates. Mm -hmm. And the primates were having insulin insensitivity, basically like diabetes and cavities, Whoa. things that they don't well, have in the wild. Okay, everyone is talking about carbs now. Real quick, you all. Rob. Yep. Would it be better, because I'm thinking of our kids, would it be better for our kids to have a serving of chips or crackers or a, or an apple, a whole apple? Definitely, I would still um, say fruit is better, mm -hmm. um, but you want to really try your best to get, um, you don't have to go for the biggest apples. The, yeah. um, you know, you want to look for organic produce where you can. Um, the organic produce tends to have a lot less to, um, or excuse me, a lot less chemicals. Uh, well, chemicals in general, but also um, less sugars. Um, so you know the <laughs> the trend is yeah, you always want to try and eat whole food. So you know fruits, vegetables, get your carbs predominantly from that. Right. Um, you can always, of course, um, you know have you know cheat days and whatnot. Um, but the big thing is you know you have to understand that. If you have a sweet tooth, you know, it's directly contributing to the way you look mm -hmm. um, more than any other thing that you do, more than your activity level or your, the amount of exercise you do per week. You know, the amount of carbohydrates you eat are directly related to the way that you look. So the number one way that I found to improve my health with what I eat was to eliminate or reduce alcohol, sugary drinks, and processed foods. If I eliminated that or cut it down, I w became healthier because then obviously I'm consuming the healthier foods. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want to try to avoid, um, I mean, it's okay to have a dessert and it's okay to, you know, live life. Um, you don't have to be um, a crazy, uh, tyrannical food person um, <laughs> and subject your family to everything. Um, I eat the way I eat, which is not the, what the, necessarily the way that my family eats, but I don't hold it over them. I just try to educate them. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it's okay to, to cheat once in a while. Um, like but you like I just... do get a donut every couple of weeks because we have this local homemade donut factory. But you want to <laughs> avoid, you know, getting on this um, cycle where you're basically, and this is what happens, and it's similar to like the caffeine cycle with mm -hmm. drinking coffee. You know, you get this spike in uh, blood sugar, your insulin clears it out, then you crash because you go low blood sugar, and then you crave something sugary and you go back up. And these swings are really bad for your metabolic system, your hormone system, but also for your weight. So um, choosing things that are, what you'll see is if you, again, to go back to your example of crackers versus um, fruit, 
both of them will spike your insulin to a degree, but the fruit is going to do so much, much less than these processed carbohydrates. So that's what I tell people, you know, eat carbohydrates, but make them from fruit and vegetables. It's, you can overdose on crackers in no time and have mm -hmm. too, way too many calories and a huge spike in insulin, but it's really hard to do that on fruit. What would you eat? Six apples? It's not going to happen. Yeah. You uh, get tired of chewing. Yeah, exactly. That's the other thing about eating fruit that's um, in the whole raw hmm. form is, is it does have fiber in it and you have yeah. to really chew it a lot. Yeah, that fiber, <laughs> I mean, fiber is really good for your digestive system, we gotta get but it also, if we, we're way off track. <laughs> But it also keeps you full, and yeah. it keeps you full for a long time. There's a lot of water in fruit, and there's a lot of the fiber, and the fiber um, will basically make you feel as if you are still full, mm -hmm. um, whereas that um, blood sugar spike from processed carbs is going to make you feel hungry again in no time. Yeah. Okay, so um, back on track. The other product, Thrive Fit, here yeah, we are. Here we go. <laughs> uh, is Circulate, and uh, I pretty much guarantee you if you go to the gym tomorrow, and you uh, are looking around, mm -hmm. you're going to see someone drinking some sort of a drink while they're working out, right? Between sets, a lot of people when they work out, they sit around and they look at the clock and they rest more than they work out. That's not the way you should work out. That that's was another, me. That's another lie. That was me before I hired a personal <clears throat> trainer, and that is why I hired a personal trainer, even though it cost more money, because I actually was then effective. Yep, but what <laughs> you're going to see is you're going to see people drinking some sort of a drink, okay? Um, it's a pre-workout or a during workout type of drink, and they're very popular. They're all the rage, um, and there's um, a lot of good evidence behind them. Again, you need to really make sure that you're getting one with really high quality ingredients. Um, there are different things that are found in a lot of them. The two biggest things that you're going to find in all those drinks mm -hmm. that you see people having, uh, one's going to be caffeine, okay? And um, caffeine is a great ergogenic, meaning performance enhancing uh, substance, um, but you got to be careful with it because you don't want to have issues with addiction or uh, messing with your sleep. Uh, the other one is some sort of a nitric oxide booster, and that's basically exactly what this product is going to be. So uh, Circulate, basically, it's um, it's got 3,000 milligrams of L-arginine. L-arginine is an amino acid that is a precursor to nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is a vasodilator, so we've used it for a long time in medicine. It's uh, what people take if they get some angina, chest pain, they take a um, basically a nitric oxide pill, oh. um, and it makes their their chest pain go away because the blood vessels mm -hmm. dilate instead of constricting and going into spasm. So if it's nitric oxide, does it have something to do with nitrogen and oxygen? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, in fact, it does. Uh, the <laughs> other um, and this. I don't know if anyone on here is using it, but things like Viagra, they are basically a ni nitric oxide uh, drug. Okay, oh. basically the way that ah. works is they dilate blood vessels, they allow blood to go to certain parts of our anatomy, and uh, I had they, no they idea. Blood flow. Of course you didn't. No, I didn't. I was just thinking of the two words and the root parts of the words going into my teachery self because I'm a homeschool teacher. Yeah, but the uh, <laughs> anyway, the idea behind um, Circulate is basically when you take a nitric oxide booster or enhancer, right. um, such as Circulate is going to be, uh, it's going to increase blood flow to working muscles. Increased blood flow means more oxygen to those working muscles. Increased oxygen means it's going to take longer to get tired, yeah. which means you can work out harder, which means you can increase your performance, have better gains. Um, so it's really all exciting. And when you put together the um, build, um, the circulate and the recover products, all three together, I mean, you really just have a, a winning formula. Right. Well, um, is that everything? Pretty much. <laughs> I feel like um, while we've done this video, I had so many topics pop into my mind that we could do. Um, Next time, huh? Yes, because the problem is I want to keep blabbing, and this is getting so long. So, <laughs> you all, I think we'll go live again next Monday-ish. Every Monday-ish. Every Monday-ish with the lining ears. How's that sound? Um, we're going to... I, I have I have a topic in mind that I think will be incredible, and it is based on sleep, quality of sleep, and weight loss. Oh, I could talk for an hour about that. I know. I'm um, excited. Would that be good? You guys would like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> one thing I want to mention is, you know, we've done this in the past when a new product has launched. Mm -hmm. um, Burn was one example. Right. Um, I want you guys to, if you're going to be using these products, I want you to take before and after pictures ah, yes. and before and after measurements, okay? Mm -hmm. So you can look online and look, um, you know, Google like bodybuilding measurements or something like that. Um, basically try and find the 
um, most commonly used measurements, which are going to be like measuring your biceps, Mine will measuring be like your chest, six inches, measuring <laughs> your uh, waist, um, and then obviously tracking your weight. I'm not a big fan of weight as far no. you know, like using a scale as far as weight loss goes, especially when you're lifting weights. But this would be a time where you could actually. Uh, potentially mm -hmm. see benefits in what you're looking for hopefully is yeah. that uh, your your weight's going to rise a little bit okay because that means you're adding lean muscle, muscle. mass and muscle burns more calories Whoop. yep and so take a um before picture one yep. from the front with whatever clothing you're wearing one from the side and if you have you know good arms and you or a it, mirror you can, you can do back. it in a mirror yeah behind you um so you know it'll be interesting to see because there are going to be a lot of people who um have not been supplementing with these kinds of uh, ingredients in general, but also mm -hmm. the Thrive Quality yeah. uh, types of ingredients that we're talking about. And so we're going to see people who are going to have really pretty awesome uh, fitness transformations, I think. So my advice, not knowing as much as Rob knows or anything like that, but my advice would be just being an average person. You want to hear, hear from the average person? She's so not average. I am too. <laughs> I'm not a fitness fanatic. <laughs> Let's just say, but this is what I know. If you want uh, to improve your health, you have to improve your sleep. Um, if you're planning to do this as a challenge with Thrive Fit, make the decision to work out how many times per week? You say. Well, um, I mean, you can get really good results in as little as two times a week. You know, we both work out with our uh, trainer, Will, right. twice a week for half an hour. So a total of an hour a week. Yeah. Um, not to say we don't do other stuff um, outside of that. No, um, but I don't as much as him. Yeah, I mean, I'm active every single day. I do something. Um, but, you know, yeah, two times a week and you'll see if, if you're doing like a high intensity workout, that's mm -hmm. really hard and it should be. It should be hard. Um, yeah. You're not going to the gym to socialize, you know, forget that. You can work out with someone, but you should be so out of breath you can't talk to him much. That's sort of what you're going for. Karen and Obviously, I don't do check that with your well. doctor if you uh, <laughs> have any sort of issues before you start a fitness program. Um, <laughs> But no, I mean, seriously, you want to work out hard. And if you really want to reap sweaty. the... Sweaty, a little bit sweaty. You're going to get, you're going to start to Stop glow. interrupting. If you really want to reap the benefits, then um, the recovery aspect is probably as much or maybe more important than yes. the actual, you know, time spent so in the gym. So how many hours of sleep at night? It's different for everyone. Um, I would say minimum seven. What time really should you get off seven. your digital device? Uh, I personally, I wear some uh, blue light blocking glasses. glasses. I turn down, turn down the lights in our house um, about 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Um, I don't look at a phone or an iPad. I read from a regular old book. Yeah. Um, I tr really try to limit the amount of blue light because blue light, and this is another whole topic in and of itself. Um, yeah, maybe next week. Basically, it suppresses melatonin and, and it increases cortisol. Cortisol is the stimulant hormone, basically it's the fight or flight hormone. Um, whereas melatonin, obviously everyone knows what that is. Mm -hmm. It's what you take if you want to go to sleep. And if you're staring at a screen up until bedtime and then you're wondering why you're not sleeping well, <laughs> well, there you go. And I learned something about melatonin. It's a precursor for another essential hormone that leads to your happy mood, which we will be what sharing on Monday next week. Yeah, I know. I know what it is. It starts with an S if anyone wants to guess it. So here's the thing. My tips being the average person, going into a challenge doing fit. I've been working out twice a week for 30 minutes with a personal trainer, so I know for a fact I don't waste time during that time. Then I'm adding a third day of a workout. I'm gonna be doing yoga with my sister. We're doing a date once a week, we're gonna do yoga. Then I'm gonna make sure that I'm shutting down the digital devices at eight o'clock, which is hard for me. I do love to watch a movie to relax or do something ridiculous. I know it's a waste of time. And if you do the same thing, be real and post it in the comments. <laughs> so and, someone just had oh, a good question. Wait, I have to keep going through my list. Okay. I'll never get through it. Okay, and then increase your water intake <clears throat> to half the body weight in ounces of water. Eliminate the sugary drinks and the processed foods to the best of your ability. And um, if you are not doing the three days a week of workout, then aim for 7,500 to 10,000 steps per day. No way. Way, way more. I mean, this is from Ten, the average. 10,000 like is basically the bare minimum you should be going for. Oh, 
Well, um, if you can get it, sometimes you know, more I like, only get two thousand. More like <laughs> um, twelve would be my minimum. I would say fifteen is better. I know, and it's a lot, but you know what? That should be part of what you do every day. Yes, and you should make time because yes. that's really going to have an effect on your health yes. and your weight. Look at all the people commenting that they watch TV before bed. Yeah, so so don't do that. Someone just had a question, and I missed the name because it's scrolling through so fast on the comments. Yeah. But uh, they said, "How close to bed can we work out?" Yeah. Um, you know, again, we can get more into this in the sleep one we do. Um, but I would say if you can work out, end your workout within an hour and a half to two hours before you try to go to bed, that's good because you do need some time to wind down. Yeah. You need time to let your system basically go from the fight or flight, which is what mm -hmm. we're in in workout, to um, the rest and digest. And uh, one of the things that helps us get into sleep mode, we have these diurnal rhythms. Diurnal means it happens twice a day. Um, or sometimes multiple times a day, but uh, basically your body cools off in the evening, your metabolism slows down, and that decrease in your, your body's core temperature is actually what helps you to fall asleep and, oh. and sends on this cascade of chemicals and hormones that help you go to sleep. So if you work out right before bed, you get into bed, you're still sweating, your heart's going to be racing, you're not going to sleep, so try and give yourself an hour and a half to two hours of time. Yeah. Um, if you're still hot and worked up, take a cold shower before bed, it really does work. Yes. Okay, so then um, for those of you when Fit is coming out, I'm going to challenge each of you all to commit to an eight-week Thrive Fit experience. So adding that into... She's going to do it too. I, I, I am? Yeah, I'll take your photos. Fine. <laughs> so eight-week Thrive Fit experience. You all in? Yes. If you're in, type it. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. And then what we're going to do is we'll create a little checklist for you. It'll be something simple. You can print it off. Anyone will be welcome to grab that. And we'll go live every Monday throughout this time sharing with you all the lifestyle changes, the habits, the brain hacks, because we want to treat you how your brain works and how that ties into what we already do with the Thrive Experience. And some of us don't even know why it works, but it does, and this is why. And he's gonna share that information with you all. Do you guys like that? And Laura's like, no, she has to. Yes, I have to. Um, and then we'll, like I said, the sleep priority, um, get off the digital device, earlier in the night, eight or nine. If you're watching TV at bedtime, give that up for the eight weeks, okay? You all, here's what I know. We are going into the holidays where things are super crazy busy. I know many of you are doing the 90 day challenge in your business, and here's the thing. We want you to be your best. In order to do your best, you have to prioritize you. Mm -hmm. When you set yourself up with these healthy habits that we're gonna be teaching you and that I shared already on the video, um, then you will set yourself up to perform at your highest possible level because I know you all have big goals over the next 90 days, don't you? But if you don't prioritize your body and your emotional well-being, then incredible is what your goals are over the next 90 days, right? So we're prioritizing your overall health and wellness. We're giving you some new things to think about when it comes to your daily habits, your sleep routine. And this is going to help you achieve incredible um, phys physical wellness as well as emotional and spiritual wellness and then better sleep at night. And guess what? You'll be more effective in your business and you'll be able to achieve more as a result. Anything to share on that? Um, yeah, a couple things. Um, someone just had a question. Um, do you take Thrive Fit if you're doing the one, two, three? Um, yes, you keep doing them. You know, this is meant to be something that's going to help you achieve your fitness goals, mm -hmm. your weight goals, um, the way you look, your body composition goals. Um, you still take the core three steps because it has the vitamins and minerals, um, the appetite suppression, those other things, but this is really going to support you on the fitness side of things. Um, and then, the other thing I want to say, and then we'll get off. No, I have one more thing. Um, so yeah, as Elise mentioned, you know, going into the holidays, it's a tough time for people. People tend to be less active. Mm -hmm. The days are shorter. They're darker. I'm a guilty, 100%. We tend to um, gain weight. You know, it's colder out. We tend to eat more. Our, our metabolisms yeah. uh, go a little slower, but our uh, appetite goes up a little bit. Um, but don't give up because this is the time statistically when a lot of people start gaining weight and then they feel overwhelmed and then they never make it back into the gym. And they continue to lose or gain more weight progressively yep. year after year, right? Yep. And yep. get heavier so and heavier and heavier. You don't want to give up, do you? No. Don't give up. No. So here was what just came to me as Rob was saying, this is the last thing and then we're going to end the video. <laughs> it was the thing. Ah, I just had it. So you all, you know what the most incredible time for your business is right around the corner. Do you know when it is? It's New Year's resolutions. Now, 
Do you notice how Lavelle has set you up for success here? You guys are committing to doing the Thrive Fit eight week challenge with us and you're gonna do your before and your afters. Hello! Do you see what you're set up for when we go into the New Year's push? You've got your own personal testimonial. You've got your own personal before and after photos. All of us People will. will be noticing. They will notice. And nothing speaks more strongly to someone than seeing that change in you. So that's why we're doing this now. I love that Lavelle's timing is so perfect and I'm not at all surprised, but right now people will be distracted with the holidays. So us talking about this now and getting your brain thinking and committed and writing it on your calendar, naming it and claiming it right here on this live stream, even if you watch in the replay. Yes, Trisha's like, I'm so freaking excited. I know, me too, because Lavelle has set you up for incredible success going into 2019. And I know that those of you who commit to this today and you stay plugged in, those who show up go up I guarantee you you will go into 2019 on fire like you've never been before and hitting your goals in 2019 like you never have before and changing your life so thanks for tuning in with us today click um, follow button or subscribe or the notifications about it whatever it is Facebook changes it all the time and you'll be notified of our next live stream which will be on Monday a week from today so if you've loved this video please drop a comment tag your friends everyone who comments will be entered to win a tripod anybody's eligible we're just big gi or give big givers <laughs> we, we, there's no strings attached somebody's gonna win that tripod so hopefully you've enjoyed the video and I don't what 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 did you make a face about because I wouldn't shut it. He was always like, shut it. And then I do this with my hands and I've I never start. never said to, shut it. I know, ever. but I tell myself to shut it. When you were talking, I wanted to tell myself. I want to put a anyway, sticky note on my mouth. <laughs> nice to see you all. We'll be back in a week. Yes, we will. Bye. Oh, he's going to be like, oh, brother Elise, you just wouldn't shut up. I know I won't. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.